All right, today in statistics, we'll be talking about conditional probability. So some pretty simple straight stuff forward, okay? Uh, the new notation is going to be this A uh, absolute value bar B, okay? And that's going to be uh, find the probability of A given that B has happened. So that's what that's saying right there. Okay. So if you're wondering like, oh, what is this new notation? That's what that's saying right there. Okay. So now here's a pretty straightforward formula for it. What you do is you take the probability of A and B and divide that by the probability of B. Okay. And that's going to be your conditional probability, which is the probability of A given B. Okay. Now the multiplication rule. Uh, if you are given the probability of A given B or B given A, okay, you times them to get the probabilities of A and B, okay, and actually there's two different formulas here, so you have to be careful about which one you use, okay, but pretty much it uses any situation you want. Now, if you wanted to use the right notation for the intersection uh, formula, you would just use this one right here. This is just the, the intersection. This is just and, okay. Alright, so now what we're going to do is talk about some situation where this actually happens. Okay, so approximately 12% of high school athletes go on to play sports in college. Of these college athletes, only 2.3% go on to play professional sports. What is the probability that the high school athlete will go on to play professional sports? Use statistical notation to show you thinking. Okay, so first off, you have to designate which one is which. So A is plays in college. Okay, and B is going to be uh, plays professionally. Okay, all right, so now what we're going to be looking at is the probability. Let me see, the probability of, well, we know one of them. We know that the probability of A is going to be 0. Point one two. Okay, so that's pretty simple and straightforward. Now the probability. Now here's the tricky part. The probability of B given A is given to us surprisingly because we know that they've already been in college. So of these college athletes, so we know that they're college. Two point three percent go on. Okay, so this is going to be that zero point zero zero. To, nope, just that part right there. <laughs> okay, all right. So that's going to be that part right there. All right. So what is probably the high school athlete will go on to play college sports? So that's and, right there. So probability of A and B happening. Okay. So what you're going to literally do is go 0 0.12 times 0 0.023. All right, if we check on our calculator, 0 0.12 times 0 0.023, okay, that means that you have about 0 0.00276, which is the same as about 0.276% chance of getting into professional athletes from high school, okay? So that's the kind of cool thing about conditional probability is it helps answer these tough questions that a lot of people have. Okay? All right. That's it for conditional probability. Please take your time and ask if you have any questions. Okay? Bye.